Welcome back, everyone, to Nanaliza Dunn. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury 333, whichever you prefer. And we have another replay. Golda and Anarchid on Thornford. Anarchid going, sorry, Golda going for Hovercraft. Anarchid going for Hovercraft. This is a very Hovercraft heavy day today, apparently. I mean, Thornford isn't a bad map for Hovercraft. It's just I'm a bit surprised to see double Hovercraft on this map. Like, it's, it's water's pretty shallow. It's not like you're benefiting that much from having Hovercraft, but cool. Let's add more Hovercraft, I think. Oh yeah, that's true. This is deep enough that you do need to have the water there. Or the water amphib stuff. That looks pretty... Anyway, <laughs> prettiness aside. Yeah, the outside could be harassed better with hovercraft, so I guess that's why people go on hovercraft. That makes sense. I mean, there's still a lot of map in between, but yeah, okay. I get that. At the same time, though, it it's hovercraft versus hovercraft, and Golda, to me, has been historically a better hovercraft player. Or at least a better dagger player. That being said, Anarchid's really pushing hard at the daggers early on, going for a very early harassment. They haven't expanded anywhere near as much, certainly not in terms of energy economy, but Golda, their economy is through the roof, but they have no defenses here, relying basically entirely on their commander, which is going to pay off, since the daggers are going to come right by the commander and get torn to pieces if they're not careful, but no, Anarchid's got a good micro, so it's fine. Anarchid is paying attention and should be able to get rid of this quill. Two shots... Nah, the first shot does this thing, but the second shot doesn't. Still, though, that's enough here... Daggers at least are able to get rid of something? Anything? Come on, daggers. Do kill something. Focus on something, please. It's kind of embarrassing how much you're just firing and damaging things but not actually killing anything. And at this point, those daggers did literally nothing. I was so excited to see the daggers do something, and all they did was deal a bit of damage to stuff. At the same time, Gold coming around the side, actually able to get some harassment going. But again, doesn't manage to do all that much. So, yeah, Golda kind of getting ahead here, just considering they had a stronger economy, and their economy was basically untouched that entire time. Not to mention, donations of metal! Donations of metal everywhere! So, yeah, that's... that's a thing. But still, it's... like... Anarchate remaining vigilant, or at least... Abs meaning obstinate when it comes to setting up all these ex additional harassment forces. I don't really see much value to that. I mean, Anarchid's probably going to lose a lot of stuff to harass them themselves. But, hey, why not? At least there's a thing you can do with that. Just seems like you're going to be losing a lot in the process, and there's enough defense in the main base. I don't really see there being a huge amount of value, but hey, if a quill dies, then that'll be worth it. And a quill's 800, there are eight daggers. That's one shot quill. Unfortunately, this quill is protected, and the other quills, well, they're also kind of protected. I saw I saw a scalpel earlier. Where the heck did it go? Okay, well, I guess I didn't see a scalpel. All right, then. Forget I said anything. Still, nine coming in here. That should be enough to one-shot the daggers, but then it's like, get rid of the daggers, and then get rid of the lotus, and then... I mean, if the daggers are positioned properly, they could wipe out both. But... No, they will! They will! They managed to do it! Anakin getting a quill dead. Actually, getting an entire expansion dead. That is value! There we go! Alright, now maybe Anakin can actually get rid of some of this stuff too, because it looks like there is going to be an easy way for those daggers to see where the Lotus is, although, admittedly, Anakin kind of already knows that. But yeah, daggers should be able to get around here, just go on the side, and then wipe out all the wind generators, or tidal generators, rather. The quill hasn't retreated either, but this is kind of coming down to whether or not the daggers can wipe out stuff faster than they get attacked. And the answer would be yes if they were focusing on the daggers, but they are not focusing on the daggers. They're focusing on as many tidal generators as possible, and that's not going to work. But, hey, I mean, it's a thing. At least, they can try. At the very least, Anarchid leaves their own base undef or undefended, but gets away with it. Okay, mostly undefended. Just got the picket now, but still, that's not really enough. I mean, that'll kill a dagger before the dagger manages to kill much. But otherwise, it won't really do all that much. Still, though, good harassment there. Anarchid managing to pull Gota's economy down a bit, get rid of a quill, meaning this entire expansion over to the east is effectively nullified. And from there, expand themselves. So yeah, good job. Anarchid kind of making up for their early lack of harassment, or early attempted harassment and failed harassment. Now it actually worked. Of course, counter-harassment coming here from Golda, and Anarchid, well, they do have a commander in place to deal with this stuff, and they are getting radar up, so they know that the daggers are around here somewhere. Or something's around here. Oh, they know from vision. They don't need the radar for that. Yeah, the dagger's just saying, oh yeah, the commander's building here, but can't really harass anything. 
Gonna go for the radar, which should go down. Kinda sucks, but oh well. Just build another radar. They're not that expensive. Still, it's a bit of a pain for the daggers, because again, these okay, these pickets coming in here should be able to take care of one or two daggers. Yeah, three missiles to a dagger. So one picket kills one dagger. And the daggers have a pretty good way of getting around here to get rid of some of these title generators, and Anarchid doesn't have... Okay, they actually have more title generators. They're okay! Anarchid's fine. They won't be losing their power. Which is good, because they don't have a whole lot in the way of actually having build power in their factories. Same time, more harassment coming from Anarchid over to the north, and not really able to do much this time, I'm afraid. Just donate metal again. Anakin might want to consider just switching over to Mace completely at this point. And they got Mace Dagger. So that's something. They can at least use that as a way of pushing in. But otherwise, not really much. Still, though, if Anarchid is able to help build up a bit more, get a few more expansions, they will even out an economy. It's just the problem is the expansion over the eastern side of the map has been built up. The northern side has also been built up. And there's a lot of wind, a lot of, not wind, a lot of lotuses dealing with this stuff. I mean, Gorn is getting quite paranoid about losing their expansions to errant raids. But at this point, they're also way ahead economically, so it doesn't really matter. They can just do that. Uh, they have all the freedom in the world to build that. They've got 5 metal per second base over Anarchid, on top of all the reclaim they're gathering because of the fact that Anarchid keeps donating metal. It's another 96 metal. Yeah, this is really good for Anar for Golda. Not really good for Anarchid. Really bad for Anarchid. But still, Anarchid's got decent forces. They have the maces coming in here. They have revealed the existence of the maces, and I'm not sure if Gold is going to respond to that. Getting maces of their own, not going for anything else. Not going for scalpels or anything, just more maces. Mace v. Mace, that's the idea. Like I said, Gold has been historically very strong with daggers, so I'm not surprised that Gold is sticking with daggers as best they can. That's, that's kind of their unit, or has been their unit. Oh, nice job, Anarchid, setting up some caretakers to help reclaim some of these forts. That is one thing about Thornford. There's a lot of forts in that that are just reclaim fodder. And Anakin's making okay use of that. They're excessing quite a bit, though. That excess is a bit of a shame. If they hadn't been excessing, they would have been in a much better position. And at this point, Anakin coming in, trying to deal with these Lotuses. Trying to throw their commander away. I mean, seriously, this is not going to work. I think Anakin, they realize it, but it's way too late. Three Lotuses coming in here is too much. Anakin's commander goes down, and Daggers would have been coming along the sides to deal with it anyway. At this point, though, at least Anarchid did have some storage built up in advance. And they were clearly prepared to lose their commander, because they have storage. Right in the center of the map. Good good speed on that. Make sure they actually had that in place. I'm glad to see when players have an idea of what they're going to do in advance and prepare for contingencies. I mean, you generally don't want to prepare for contingencies if you don't have to, but hey, it worked out in this case. As much as losing a commander is honestly a bit of a shame, and you really don't want to, but at least Anarchid managed to get away with it. Still, the question at this point is, what's Anarchid going to do now to maintain map control? Because they've gotten a lot of reclaim, sure, but they've burned up that reclaim now. They're done with the reclaim. They can't easily gather more. So at this point, Anarchid needs to make use of that metal for something. I mean, they have a thousand, have 500 metal in storage right now. What they're lacking right now is energy. And apparently proper prioritization, but mostly energy. Why is this taking so long anyway? These, no, they're reclaiming. They're not a high priority. Not building anything. This is weird. It's like something somewhere is on low priority that shouldn't be. Ah, the fusion reactor. That's what's going on. Okay. So Anarchid is fixing the power problems at the very least, but the question is what they're going to do. No, actually, the question isn't what they're going to do after that. They're going to overdrive like heck after that. And have all the power in the world. They'll be, they'll be fine. Okay. They won't overdrive that well. But they'll still have a bunch of power, and they can still use a bunch of reclaim and actually make those castles work for them. And have the build power to make it work. But at the same time, Gota also has that, and also has the air factory, and hasn't built anything with it yet. So Anarchid's setting up for a lot of harassment, setting a couple of maces off to the side, which Gota has spotted and will be dealing with. At the same time, maces over in the center of the map, which are also going to be dealt with reasonably quickly. But they should be able to get a bit more damage in the process. Goda's commander as well in a spot that the maces cannot, or none of the hover units can deal with. At the same time, Anarchid losing those maces really without much effort. Not a whole lot of fighting going on there. Just two maces being brutally murdered. They're murdered for trespassing. 
As you do. Same time, at least radar was gotten rid of, but Golda should have some spare radar, so... No, they, yeah, they do. They got, they got plenty. They're good. So yeah, this is not really something Anarchy can just sneak into. I'm actually kind of surprised Anarchy is trying to win just off Mass Mace. Like, I get it, you know, get rid of the daggers, that's not a bad idea, but still, like, why just Mace? I guess the Air Factory is going to cover a lot of the anti-heavy forces, so you can use that to help get rid of Commander, help get rid of a bunch of Maces. I mean, two bombs to a Mace, so that's not a bad idea. Not sure if they're going to go for the Commander. It's not a, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go for the Commander. The Commander is getting a lot of Gota's economy. But then again, the Reclaim has been taken, so it's a little bit late for that to matter. Still, Anarchid is going for the Commander. That is their target. They want to kill the Commander, and they might succeed. No, they won't succeed. They're going to fail. They're going to try. They're going to deal, like, 40 damage. That's some good Commander Micro there. Well, actually, more so... Actually, wait, what? Go to Commander is more damaged. Oh, that's Reload, my bad. Yeah. No. Apparently, they did not fix the ability for Commanders to dodge Raven Bombs. Although, I think what Anarchy was thinking of is also that the Ravens were bombing during the jump. I think that might have been the thing that was supposed to be fixed. Was not bombing when the Commander was jumping, because he can't hit that. I mean, the Ravens clearly had some hope. They were holding out that they thought, maybe, just maybe, we can hit that commander with a bomb. And the answer is no. And it looks like Anarchid at this point is probably going to be at their last stand right now. I mean, there's enough in the way of anti-air that their bombers are going to be doing very little. Forces here don't really have any direct counters. No scalpels or claymores or anything that's going to stop them from doing anything. Or halberds, even, just to get in their way. Very least, Phoenixes can do a bit of damage, maybe burn up one of the maces, but... That's gonna be it. At this point, Anarchid's basically got nothing to defend with, other than a couple of Ravens, which will be going down before they manage to actually do anything, and Anarchid throwing in the towel, realizing there's not a whole lot they can do here. So, despite reasonably close economy in the entire game, Anarchid just simply could not maintain the army. They just could not get the attrition. Like I said, Hovercraft's kind of gold as factory. And I'm a bit surprised Anarchid tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the daggers. Especially for the amount of donations that happened. I mean, if you look... A thousand, three hundred, thirteen hundred metal more from for Golda than for Anarchid, and a lot of that was what Golda killed over Anarchid. So yeah, that was that was pretty much entirely down to Anarchid throwing units away and Golda reclaiming them. So yeah, that is that. So I'm. All right, I'll 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 do this, Matt. There's another last match. It's a bit of a request from Sparkles, in fact. Going to be Manu 12 versus Sparkles on Shifting Sands. This is a new map that has been kind of tested around. It's meant to be a map that allows for every factory to be used on it. I personally think it's a bit too proof of concept-y. Like, yeah, okay, it gets the factories working, but it doesn't do it in a particularly artful way from the looks of it. But let's look at it. It is a requested replay. So we'll check that out. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.